All right, thanks a lot, Dwayne. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a veteran, uh, which may be surprising, coming from a guy who looks like the love child of Iceman and Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> Is he gonna start playing volleyball with his shirt off? <laughs> um, I don't know if this gets me any street cred with the military crowd, but I did play a lot of Call of Duty 4 when I was younger. Um, and uh, anyone who's ever said, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, has never played online video games against teenagers. Because those little bastards are vicious. They say very mean things, and they hurt my feelings. <laughs> Uh, I did play paintball one time, and uh, I don't know if uh, paintball is anything like real battle, uh, but they say war is hell, but those paintballs, they hurt like hell. <laughs> and I got shot in the forehead twice. <laughs> and I did not get a purple heart for my service that day. No. I got a purple faux hawk, though. <laughs> it's a faux hawk of shame. You know, we can't all be armed services material, you know? Some of us are postal services material. <laughs> uh, me, I'm neither. I actually work for a, I work for a nonprofit. All right, cool. Well, our, our jingle in our world is uh, be as broke as you can be. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I hate that expression, it is what it is, actually. You know? Like, sometimes it is what it is, right? Like, with death or taxes or herpes. <laughs> Not you, you're good, sir. <laughs> you're clean. <laughs> um, but you know who never says it is what it is? NASA. Do you guys see they launched a projectile into outer space last year? hit an asteroid that was 68 million miles away, completely changed its trajectory, right? So if it was headed for the Earth, it would miss us. I mean, holy shit. Like, that is crazy aim. I mean, is like Lee Harvey Oswald working NASA now or something? <laughs> <laughs> Annie Oakley? I don't know. Maybe Courtney Love works there now. I don't know. I hear she's a good shot. Um, I don't know. For me right now in my life, good aim is like when I take a leak and none of it gets on the toilet seat. No, that's not true. Good aim for me is when I take a, take a leak and none of it ends up on my pants. <laughs> it's a fun fact about being in your 40s and being a guy, when you take a leak and you're done, you can't just put your junk in your pants when you're done anymore. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, because there's, there's a little peepee -pee that's hiding up in there. There's, there's, a, there's a bullet in the chamber still. <laughs> you got to shake it. You gotta shake it, or you gotta squeeze it like a toothpaste tube. <laughs> you gotta like, it's like weatherizing your uh, sprinkler system. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get all the fluid out of there. Because if you don't, you get a pee pee plume that forms on your pants. And then NASA can't help you. <laughs> You're on your own. Um, but I do think it would be funny if we had one of those like giant meteors coming towards us and NASA deflected it, but then it like accidentally ricocheted into Mars. <laughs> Cause that'd be just like a twofer to me. On the one hand, we get to live. And on the other hand, Elon Musk would be pissed. <laughs> and that's fun. I find that very fun. Um, so I'm from New York originally. I grew up there. Uh, yeah, woo. Uh, but I've lived half my life in DC. Uh, I've raised my kids here, built my career here. Uh, equally unenthusiastic applause. <laughs> I actually love both places, but thank you for that. Um, I do. And, uh, but they're different, you know? Like in New York, the cool people, they show up on MTV, on BET, SNL, stuff like that, right? In DC, our cool people, they show up on Meet the Press <laughs> and C-SPAN. And on vacation with Clarence Thomas. <laughs> I mean, they say, they say power corrupts. But absolute power is absolutely awesome. <laughs> so you guys see his bus? 
That shit was dope. Uh, but no judgment, no judgment. You know? I don't judge. Like growing up in New York, me and my friends, we, we do uh, graffiti, drugs, and a variety of other community service activities. <laughs> in DC, me and my friends, we play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Hell yeah. And for those of you who don't like it, don't knock it, because there is no safer way to do role playing with no risk of getting an STD. <laughs> Just no risk. There's no VD in D&D. &D. <laughs> Wizards and orcs don't get venereal diseases, it turns out. Um, but, you know, people pick on DC. They say it's an ugly Hollywood. And uh, I disagree, you know? Because where else are you going to see the cherry blossoms, the monuments? And Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell both vying for the lead in Weekend at Bernie's 3. All right, thanks, you guys. You've been an awesome audience. We really appreciate it. My name's Pat Ray.